Hey guys, how are you doing? Anthony here, and I hope that despite the circumstances, you guys are still doing preposterously well. So as you may have heard this week, uh, the one and only Eddie Van Halen has passed away. Now for me, Eddie was one of those guitarists that just completely changed the game. Uh, and maybe not in the same way as everyone else. I was already playing like technical music at the time, uh, and I was trying to shred and do all those things, but what he kind of interjected into my playing was the idea that you can do those things, be technical and shred and have fun, but also inject emotion and melody and mojo into it. Uh, before, it was all about being precise and surgical for me, and I didn't care about the other things, the inflection. And I think getting that rebellious kind of influence from Eddie Van Halen's playing completely changed how I play. Uh, and I have a lot of respect for that. So as a tribute today, I'm going to be playing uh, my favorite Eddie Van Halen solo, one of my favorite guitar solos of all time, period. Uh, and that's the solo in Beat It by Michael Jackson. Now the reason I picked this solo, as opposed to all of the other ones that he's done, is because, like I said, this is the light bulb moment. This is when I got it, and this is the one when I said, oh my god, this is something different. And I have to sit down and really analyze the solo, and here's the video of me playing it 11 years ago. So like I said, he's been an influence for a long time, and I'm gonna do the 2020 version of that cover again as a tribute to one of my favorite guitarists of all time. <laughs> 